Hey guys and welcome back to another memory plan with me. Today I'm memory planning the week of July 4th and I'm using a kit from my shop which is called Pink Sunset and because my throat hurts a little bit today I'm going back to my old ways and I'm going to play some music while I'm putting down all of the bass and then I will be back to talk more about this week. Okay, now that I've put down pretty much all of the base, I'm quickly going to talk about everything I put down. So the decorative boxes on the sidebar, the like circle ones. The top one is from Pretty Pink Co. The Pretty Pink Co. And then the bottom one is from Saucy Stickers Co. And the garlands on the sidebar are from Sadie Stickers. And then at the top, the silver floral um, clusters, those are from Honey Inked. And then all of the lines that I used, the long one on the bottom and then and on at the top, as well as oh, on top of the full boxes, those are um, those were printable from um, Print Petticoat Bandit, I believe. And yes, I foiled and cut them or cut and foiled them myself. And then the Fourth of July script is from my shop. We do have a holiday um, sampler or a holiday sheet now available and um the like garland not the hanging like confetti type <laughs> those were from sadie's stickers i think that's pretty much it and now i'm just putting down the boxes which i've mentioned before i really like doing that um just kind of you know play around with the spacing first and then putting the icons down later on um also this garland under the full box right now the bikini one that one is from my shop i haven't used them in so long and i was really excited to use them again <laughs> but yeah um this was actually a uh, kind of uh, a special week so um i didn't really want to skip over it too much like i did in my last few videos you know since it has been so long sometimes there's not really a lot to talk about when it comes to these videos um or like these weeks i mean <clears throat> so you know I, I just ramble on pretty much but this particular week something actually did happen and it was the week where i got covid for the first time also the last time i haven't had covid ever since and it was one of the worst freaking experiences in my life it wasn't the worst but it, it's it's up there i <sighs> I don't ever want to have it again. Um, I'm glad I had the vaccine. I don't know how bad it would have been if I wouldn't have gotten the vaccine. 
um, because I know obviously with the vaccine you still get it, but apparently the symptoms and stuff is not as bad as it could be without it. So I don't know. I mean, you know, I like <sighs> how I felt for probably like a month was just absolutely insane. Like I obviously already knew how bad it is with a lot of people, but I didn't know, you know, I've never experienced it myself. So yeah. Anyway, so, you know, 4th of July, I don't really celebrate. I'm not American. Um, my husband doesn't really celebrate. I feel like for a lot of my friends as well as family, it's more like an excuse to have a barbecue or like a get together with the family, you know, everyone's off usually or most people are off on that day. So yeah, that's what we did. We spent time with the family, with my husband's cousins. Um, I'm very close with them as well. One of them also has um, kids that are my son's age and they're like best friends. So we spent time with them quite often. So we spent 4th of July with them, um, their mom, as well as my mom-in-law. And yeah, we just had a good time. We had some food, good laughs, you know, just, just a good family time and um everything was fine the next day i was you know doing stuff for the shop i was facetiming a friend in germany um i also did my nails and everything was pretty much fine until wednesday on the 6th i was feeling in the morning i already felt kind of like under the weather i was like mm, whatever i'll just go take some ibuprofen usually when i start feeling sick i take ibuprofen because that's usually, you know, what helps me and it helps pretty quickly. And I, you know, take that because I don't really want to allow myself to get sick. <laughs> um, I try to not get sick if I can, because obviously I have three kids and, you know, and if you're a mom or when you're a mom and you have kids, you still have to function. So anyways, that's what I did. But I... All of a sudden, like, I, I dropped my kids off at school. I was at home with my youngest. And all of a sudden, I just felt so feverish. Like, I was shivering. I was so cold. But then again, the next minute, I would be so hot. So, I was just in bed, you know. I was I was talking to my husband, like, messaging. He was at work. And I was just telling him, oh, I have a fever and stuff. I'll just take some more medicine. You know, it's just, I just had a fever, really. That, that was it. Just a fever. A hot cold and I was just in bed and then it just got worse like I took medicine but it it was it didn't get better it, it just got worse it got so bad I was ice my body was ice cold but I also was sweating at the same time which usually you know that happens when you have fever but that was the worst it has ever gotten I have never had it that bad and yeah, it was, <laughs> I was kind of like at a point where I was crying because I just, like, it was just so bad. <laughs> like, I just really, I never had a fever that bad. Like, temperature-wise, it wasn't that bad. Obviously, it was high, but, you know, it wasn't like anything like, oh, I have to go to the hospital. But just the feeling, it was just like, oh my goodness, what is going on? Also, I wasn't hungry at all. I wasn't thirsty at all, which was really bad. Um, I was you know, I still forced myself to drink water, but yeah, it was, was really, really bad. I had a horrible night. Um, so yeah, I could barely sleep. I took some more medicine the next day. My husband took off work that day because, you know, I was, I was just, I, I couldn't function. So I couldn't take the boys anywhere, drop them off or pick them up or whatever. So he, um, took off work and, you know, I, I still thought it was just a regular cold, um, which, you know, during the summertime, like, obviously it can happen, but it, it it's a little bit more, you know, surprising. So, actually, that evening on Thursday, um, our cousin texted my husband. She was like, because she works in healthcare, and she was like, oh, they also felt very feverish and stuff. So, they actually took a test, and they tested positive. And I was like, oh, my goodness, do I have COVID? Well, it was in the evening, so he's like, okay, we're going to get a test in the morning, and, you know, we'll see. And so my husband got a test in the morning and I took it and it immediately went to positive. Like, you know, they say, I think it was like, wait about 15 minutes to see the results. Mine, like it was immediately like, <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, I actually have COVID. And then um, 
It like the it, it wasn't as bad as Wednesday. I was still very feverish. I was just in bed. I didn't really do a lot. Um, and then Friday was when it started that I was I couldn't taste anything and I couldn't smell anything and that was probably the worst thing. Like I'm a foodie. I love food so much. That's probably why I can never lose weight because uh, even though I want to, but I just love food so much and that was bothering me so much because usually when you're sick, you know, you have a stuffed nose, like you know where it's coming from. But with COVID, I just it was just gone. My sense, my taste, my smell, everything was gone. Like it was just so weird. And that actually lasted for like I would say probably almost a month. Like not the feeling sick part, but the not tasting or smelling anything lasted for such a long time. I know other people have that for like over a year, but I would probably go crazy if I would have had that for a year because I almost went crazy. It was like that was the worst that could have happened to me because I just didn't want to eat anymore. I'm like, if I can't taste it, what's the point? You know, like I was so frustrated, so, so frustrated, but yeah that was the first week of me having COVID (laughs) not a fun week I hope I'll never ever ever get it again but yeah we are fine now like I said I haven't had it since um but my husband actually got it after the week after me and I pray like my kids also they didn't test positive but they were also sick so it was just Yeah, it was not a good 4th of July week, but I feel like the spread actually turned out so freaking beautiful and I just love this um, the spread and I was dying to use this kit. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.